Sam Pack here and welcome back to another stream. How's everyone doing today? Yo, what is going on guys? Um, yeah guys, dude, I've been waiting for this build for uh, God knows how long. Uh, <laughs> dude, it's honestly been almost like a full year since I ordered this keyboard. And so, um, dude, yeah, um, glad that it finally got here and it came. And yeah, guys, uh, can't wait to build this for you guys. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be building the Think 6.5 V2 in the limited edition version. And we're gonna be building this with a uh, palm plate with U4Ts. And I looped the U4Ts with um, the Gazu way. And so basically that way is the, you just lube the side rails on the bottom housing, and then you donut dip the bottom spring and yeah, that's pretty much all you gotta do. And then you just slap everything back together. And um, yeah, so I purposefully wanted to do it that way so that we can experience how Gazu wanted us to feel the U4Ts. <laughs> and then we're gonna put some GMK uh, cafes on here. So it's gonna be really, really dope. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And with that said, let's get started. All right, uh, I'm still debating on if I should do uh, seven, 7u or 6.5 i mean 6.25 let's let's do a poll real quick 7u step cat <laughs> 7u is the best all right everybody's saying 7u okay uh all right well that was easy <laughs> i don't know whenever i do 7u though like i guess it's my ocd kind of like i just don't like how the the wind key is super small <laughs> compared to everything else uh is this a personal thing yes this is my personal board personal board i went to uh one 6.5 because of that yeah that's why I th yeah like it's just it's just my like kind of my ocd i think uh like i need i need everything to be even you know how like everything here is like pretty even like i'm not sure if this looks nice to me but i do like how long like like the uh how long the space bar is gonna be but i don't know guys i don't know also get an extra macro uh layer on the right side as a result i guess i guess damn that's like a hundred percent vote for 7u all right you know what since i'm always doing 6.25 i'm gonna do 7u today yo el seba how's it going man yo split backspace hell no Nah, bros. I, I I can't. I mean, I do have a HHKB, but like split backspace is just not for me. Wait, split backspace is the best? I don't know, guys. That's not for me. On the topic, how do you feel about HHKB layout? Honestly, I do like the layout. Like the layout is fine. I I enjoy typing on it. Um, not gonna lie, I really do enjoy typing on it. Um. I just personally was yeah. So what sucks about it is that like the only time I'm gonna type on it is if I'm doing like you know more like productivity stuff. Like if in terms of like I'm gonna if I'm gonna use a HHKB for gaming, I don't think so. Uh, just because like I tend to use the control button a lot. So like if it's here, like it feels weird. So I have to stretch it out that way. Um, and I actually do bind my caps lock to something as well. So it's like. I need all of these keys down here. So uh, yeah, it's just more comfortable um, when I'm playing, especially yeah, when I'm playing on my profit, it's a lot more comfortable than playing on my uh, the Rama. Nah, full backspace is life, yeah, dude. It's just cause like, I feel like that's like what like most of us grew up with, you know? So it's like, it's hard to, it's hard to get your like mentality back into, you know, going, to split backspace all the time yeah so like anytime i'm doing type tests if i go from like a regular backspace to hhkb split backspace like you you guys can already, you guys probably already know like my my typing has been like butt cheeks but yeah um, <laughs> it is what it is kind of thing yo thank you so much for 300 bits show me calves or unsub all right is this what you want guys is this is this the type of content everybody wants here? I'm not trying to be Manoli. I already I already said, okay, guys. I already said on Manoli's stream when I tuned in yesterday, 
and let everybody know this straight, okay? Monoli has number one calves, okay? There's no discussion. Like, I'm just, okay? Manoli has the best calves in the Keeb streamer community. I come second, okay? I am number two, but he is number one. So I hope that closes the closes the argument there. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, and everybody else, they can do whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? But Manoli and me, Manoli's first. I'm second. So that's that's close the book on that chapter, guys. Uh, <laughs> end the story. Uh, Saint I forgot to tell you, I don't have cash to pay for a commission, so I'll pay in boba. Is that cool? Yeah, that's fine, brother. That's fine. Boba's cool. Boba's chill. Just make sure you, you get my, my order correctly, though. Taro with extra ice. <laughs> nah, bro. No extra ice. Who does extra ice, my guy? That is a troll, troll order, bro. I might as well just pay for a, a bag of ice that kind of money dude uh sound tests have been pretty nice yeah 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 it's been pretty nice um yeah i've been listening to a lot of other people's builds uh with this and yeah we built this we built this twice here but we haven't built it with uh with tactiles yet so that's gonna be really exciting i think sam is a tech tactile main now yo honestly like i'm just diving myself a little bit in tactiles like i i just i just I really want to just play around and see if I really like them. I know at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I am still linear gang, guys. Come on. Uh, how do you know when the switch is pressed? What do you mean? Linears are gross. Change my mind. Oh, <laughs> how do you know if there's pressed? Uh, I don't know. I just like that smooth experience. I don't know about you guys. I really like how smooth switches are rather than having the bumps all the time because I feel like if you have tactiles and like you type on it too often, I feel like your fingers get a little strained. I don't know. That's just me. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like my, my fingers are getting really strained. It's nice. Are you going to get on GMK Lavender? Bruh. Bruh. Your boy went in on GMK Lavender. <laughs> Yo, I... <laughs> yeah, I bought the... Um... What is that? Ram, 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 Bera, Ram, Bandera, Ram Bandera kit. I got that. I got the base kit. I got the novelties. Uh, I got the space bar kit. Um, I got both ROM. I got, I got the Solvin uh, cap. I got the Enter as well. Y'all, your boy went in um, on Lavender. Uh, Cause that, that set to me was I told I told Dotnik that like honestly Jim K Lavender might be one of my favorite sets. Like top three for me. Top three. Top three. For sure, for sure. Um so yeah, I gave him big ups for that. Um yeah, really, really appreciate him for making that set. And um yeah, and then dude, and then if you get if you guys got like the base set and I think whatever sets, um yeah, you got you got two basically you got free entry raffle for f2 um i didn't do it for that reason but i did it because i really 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 like this set um i couldn't pick between the ram ram bandera set or the base set so i was like yo i'm gonna I'm just get both <laughs> uh, both look really really nice to me so i ended up getting both uh you did it for the raffle don't lie <laughs> Yo, why are you trying to call me out, brother? <laughs> no, I did not do it for the raffle. I legitimately bought it because, yeah, I really, really love this set. But if you guys are considering, uh, I would highly consider GMK Lavender. If you guys are on the fence. Yeah. Yo, because, like, yo, that, the, um, especially the, the solvent cap, guys, you guys see, like, the, the gradient on that? Like, it goes from, like, a dark all the way to the light lavender color. Dude, that... Mm, you guys are gonna get some FOMO. Once I get that and start put, posting some photos on that, you guys are gonna get hella FOMO. So I'm telling you guys right now, if you guys can get in on it, yo, I would get in on it right now. Don't feel like me, where I 
or how I felt like about botanical. Like seriously, like if you got the chance to buy it right now, just get it. Don't don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. Um, yo, can we can we like ban Bara Chan, please? Like, dude, this kid is so freaking negative. Like, I gave him like I don't know how many chances to like chill out a little bit, but like, dude, my man needs to like. I don't know what the hell he's on, dude. Like, <laughs> I I I was being so nice to this kid. Like, I I was brushing off every little thing that he said. Even if you call me a fat Korean, like that's cool, bro. Like doesn't really affect me but like he's constantly doing it so my man's gotta go like you get three strikes and you're out you know what i'm saying like i tried bro i tried i tried <laughs> you good bro <laughs> oh my gosh maintenance mondays yeah that's pretty much what's gonna be mondays uh sam i see F f1 yeah we're gonna be doing an f1 pc plate uh pc plate um i'm still deciding which switches we're gonna do for that but yeah I was gonna DM you, but <laughs> get him out. Yo, thanks. <laughs> it's because he wants to see your cat. <laughs> see, he's envious. Oh, man. Oh, let's see your tat. Okay, here you go. Here's my tattoos. I don't know if you guys can see it better. Here, there you go. I am a uh, Christian boy. So, yeah. These are gonna be, like, more religious tattoos over here. But, yeah. Biceps, <laughs> can you flex for us? Uh, is this good enough? Is this good? <laughs> T-Rex is underrated. The ladies dig it. All right, yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just do one of these. <laughs> hey, uh, Sam Peck, uh, parodies. Wait, what do you mean parodies? What's parodies? Am I gonna do a parody? Sheesh! How in the fuck did I walk into that one, dude? What the heck? Yo, stream over. That one hit way too hard. Yo, that. Yo, and I literally said parodies. I don't even know how many times. Parodies. Parodies. Pa par parodies. How come it didn't. It just didn't. It didn't. It didn't hit. Until these nuts hit. But, like, oh my god. <laughs> Why do y'all do this to me? Why do y'all do this to me? That was too good. That honestly... <laughs> Yo. That one... That one's going into the YouTube vibe. That one's going into the YouTube vibe for sure. Holy crap, dude. Oh my god, dude. Yo, it's too early for that. It's too, <laughs> it's too early for that. It's not even DJ hours right now. I'm dying at work. Everyone look at me sideways. <laughs> Uh, there is plate foam for this, guys. I mean, uh, PCB foam. I'm actually going to be skipping it today. Um, yeah, we're going to just do the build without the uh, PCB foam. In the I want this baby to, like, clack and not be, like, super muted. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the famous, famous question. F1 versus 6V. Thoughts? Whew. Okay. Um, okay, looks, looks wise, 7v, looks, for sure, like that's no contest, looks wise, uh, feel wise, f1, for sure, f1 feels a lot, a lot better, I mean, if, yo, 20, if you're here, you can, you can chime in as well because you have both of them. Uh, for me, I definitely like the feel of the F1 way better. Um, it just feels, it just feels better, like when you're typing on it, in my opinion. Uh, 7V comes definitely pretty damn close, not gonna lie. Uh, but if I were to, if you were to ask me to choose between the two, it has to be F1. Damn, you prefer the 7V? Who are you? <laughs> But yeah, no, so yeah, I mean, but my my um, verdict on it is definitely F1 feels a lot better typing experience wise, I think. Um, 
7 v ultimate keep uh i wouldn't say it's the ultimate keep but it's definitely up there it's definitely definitely up there really good for you know how it came out and all that stuff like really really great board hands down uh there's no denying it's it's a good board <clears throat> but is it the best board i don't know that's very subjective guys very very subjective uh, if I can't get this F2 in August, gotta pay resale for F1. Oh my gosh, dude. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I mean, I got mine also aftermarket. Um, yeah, you just have to pay the price, I guess. It is what it is. Um, I would say it was definitely worth. It was worth for me paying uh, the resale price for it. I don't regret my purchase decision for the F1 at all. So, yeah, I mean, if you're going to do it, I I am right behind you. <laughs> uh, plateless or plate with F1? Um, I think, I think, uh, yo, Jeff, I think you should definitely build it plate first with the aluminum plate first. And then try it with the plateless. Don't do what I did where I did plateless first and then aluminum. Definitely do aluminum, the aluminum plate first, and then do plateless. I think that's a better, you'll get a grasp of like how, like what the board is supposed to really feel like, I think. Uh, plateless uh, for sure, uh, for sure king for 7v, yeah, yeah. I heard so many people say going um, plateless for 7v is definitely the wave. Um, yeah, I'm I'm like in the middle of in the talks with somebody who's gonna send another a 7v, and I'm I'm convincing him to do uh, platelets. So hopefully we can do that on stream very soon too. Platelets uh, on 7v gives me a certain flow when I type. Uh, when I get back to my KFE and I feel like I'm typing on bricks. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's, it's all about that nice flex. I think yeah. Oh shoot, guys, my bad. Um, I forgot to show you guys. I know I know I showed it last stream, but uh, in the beginning But let me guys show you guys the case one more time So this is the Think 6.5 LE edition. So it has the like high gloss all around the whole entire board right here Even down here yeah, so this is actually going to be a, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it's a pink, pink weight, pink badge. Yeah. I feel like GMK is just getting too expensive. Excited for new manufacturers. I like some of the stuff uh, Geek, Geek Cart, Geek Cart is making. It's a nice price tag. That looks so good. Can't wait for my shit. Uh, yo, dude, like, yeah, I think... The biggest thing is that what these like companies needs to tackle right now is how to get it faster to the customer because you know people are paying like a lot of money for these keycaps right and like you would want to you wouldn't want to wait that long to receive something like that you know like something pretty expensive um and I feel like they just need to get a little bit faster on it, you know, like it's it's something that needs to, you know, something needs to happen, I feel like, if they want to keep up with like the consumers, I think, like if, if the market is booming, right, they should at least, whoever's manufacturing it, needs to like upgrade their stuff too, so they can provide, you know, for, for us c consumers, I feel like. You know, instead of just keep doing it the old ways or whatever, like, if you know, like, you need to make a lot of, lot of keycaps, then wouldn't you want to invest more money into your manufacturing business and get it out faster? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Yeah, turnaround times are always big issue. Yeah, it's trash. So here is the Think 6.5 V2 in the LE addition and we got some u4t's in here lubed with 3204 and uh lubed the gazoo way 
and with the palm plate inside and Duroc V2 stabs with BDZ and 205 G0 in the housings. So there is, uh, there is like the, I put the silicon like muting in there in the, the case foam. I guess it's a case, it's kind of like a case foam, but it's, it's silicon. It's sil silicon, 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 silicon uh, material in there. Uh, I took out the mute, I mean the, uh, I didn't put the PCB foam in there because I thought it was going to be a little bit too muted. Uh, so we took this out of there. Um, I thought it was going to be a little too stiff and stuff. So I want to at least have some kind of acoustics in there. You don't want, like, if you keep putting all of those kinds of, you know, case foam and, like, PCB foam, like, you're going to lose the sound of the keyboard if you put too much. And if you don't, if you're going to just put it in there just because you want to put it in there, it makes no sense. Uh, so for this build, particularly with the palm plate, I needed to have a little bit more sound in there so that's why yeah we did not we did not put this guy in there uh, but yeah guys really like this build uh really really happy about it so guys thank you guys for tuning in today really appreciate it you guys and uh yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and see you guys in the next one peace out guys